What's up YouTube, Element here, back with another video. So a lot of rumors have been circulating recently around the potential for an Obi-Wan spin-off movie that would most likely stand outside of the episodes as an anthology story similar to Rogue One. Ewan McGregor in a recent interview already stated, quote, I'd be happy to do the story from episode 3 where I finish up and Alec Guinness starts, but he hadn't been approached. The pot has been stirred yet again, with insiders stating that he is now being courted to reprise his role as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Whether or not it would be a trilogy or a standalone film remains to be seen, so let's talk about what it could potentially be about. In the same interview, Ewan McGregor says, There's definitely a story there when it comes to the transition between his Obi-Wan and Sir Alec Guinness's Obi-Wan, post episode 3, pre episode 4, and I think that's what it may come down to. The interesting part about all of this is if it does end up being a trilogy of films, maybe we'll get chapter 1, 2, and 3, implying that it would be covering his lost journal. In the Marvel run of Star Wars, which is canon, we've already seen two issues surrounding entries found in his lost journal that Luke found upon his death. In issue 7, he's having trouble coming to terms with being alone and, of course, being isolated, struggling with the fact that he is no longer a Jedi and that his days of adventuring with Anakin have seemingly come to an end. In issue 15, we see his relationship with Luke thin, as Uncle Owen shows resistance to the idea of Kenobi training the boy, or even enabling Luke's penchant for flying like his father before him. But these two issues are only breaching the surface of what was an approximate 19 to 20 year gap. I think it's a great launching point for a spin-off film, and many loyal Obi-Wantons or Kenobians are dying for more Kenobi, especially after Clone Wars. And now with Star Wars Rebels off and running, there's also potential for a little bit of crossover between him, Ahsoka Tano, Kanan Jarrus, and Ezra Bridger to kind of interweave these new story elements together, along with the new story of Rogue One and Jyn Erso. More so than anything else, if you've seen my previous videos, you know I'm on Team Kenobi when it comes to Rey's lineage. Having a standalone film is a perfect opportunity for a narrative to unravel that would explain Rey's origins and perhaps give fans closure if that were to be the case come episode 8. Having Rey be a Kenobi would also generate massive interest in seeing Obi-Wan's untold story. And as I said previously, it would be a great opportunity to weave a massive web connecting all of the Star Wars universes together. Which brings me to my fan casting for Rebels, should they cross over at some point with the live action universe. And here it is. Anyways, what do you guys think? Do you want a Kenobi spin off film? Do you want a single anthology movie or a trilogy? And what would you want to see happen in this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all beautiful people later. Until next time, may the Force be with you.